Well, as we mentioned earlier, another lawsuit alleging a national cheer company, Varsity Cheer, didn't do enough to stop abuse. This brings the total number of lawsuits related to cheer organizations at seven. Well, the first was filed one week after the founder of Rockstar Cheer, well-known Jim and Greer, committed suicide. And Home Homeland Security confirmed he was being investigated for sexual misconduct with a minor. Well, he and more than a half a dozen other coaches are now being called out in lawsuits. We want to bring in cheer safety advocate Kimberly Archie. So, Kimberly, thanks again for joining us as always. Again, we have another lawsuit here added to that growing list. Your reaction to yet another one? I think it continues to be shocking just because of the allegations, but certainly not surprising to see that as more victims come forward, it gives courage to other victims to come forward as well. When does it stop? I mean, does it, should we just anticipate more and more lawsuits to come out throughout the country at this point? Or is there some sort of mechanism that, that maybe there could be some sort of resolution met? I think we're going to see a lot like what we saw with the Catholic Church, as well as like, say, Boy Scouts, and not so much as what we saw in USA Gymnastics with Nasser. I think that there are a number of perpetrators across the country over decades, and so I think we're going to continue to see more lawsuits. And again, we, we've been over this before, but I think it's important to continue to readdress it. So what would you like to see be done with either Varsity or the Rockstar Cheer at this point? Well, I think the number one issue is to see the proper education and not just guidelines, but actual enforcement of regulation to prevent this from happening again in the future. And I think we need to see something like OSHA, but for sports. So say the Sport Health and Safety Administration, perhaps we can tax sports betting in order to fund that. But this just isn't an issue for cheerleading we see it across the board in youth sports. And so if these tragedies can spur a real system that can prevent this in the future, then we're talking about protecting kids this time for real. And any other survivors who may be out there who are still unsure or afraid of coming forward, what would be your message to them? Uh, my message to them would be to definitely find a safe person in a safe place to be able to process feelings and make sure that you have somebody that you can talk to and always know that you can text 988 um, if you're in crisis at any time. And as far as w w with these lawsuits, what is standing out most is about how widespread they are is because <laughs> we're seeing it, some of these allegations coming out where some of these coaches are able to go on and coach at other gyms. Right, yeah, well, we have a list that's supposed to ban coaches or other people in the industry that do not follow the standards to be able to work with children. And I think that we need to see uh, quicker additions to this list and the investigations to happen quicker and also to know up front what the process is for them to look into these type of allegations. I'm not even sure we know what that is at this point. All right, hopefully there are some resolutions met sooner rather than later. Kimberly Archie Forrest, thank you. Thank you so much.